All right, this video is in response to a video submitted by one of our ambassadors, Arissa, where she was basically owning her emotions of jealousy and selfishness. And I am a Rob Ross ambassador. I am a jealous person, ooh, but perhaps I'm selfish as well because I'm very much like, if I like you, I want all of you in the sense that I don't want to share you, but I'm okay with doing it once in a while. But after, after a while, I, it, it does start to bother me and it bothers me that it bothers me, if that makes sense. So what am I to do with this jealousy? Um, and I thought the video came from such an authentic and raw and unfiltered place that it triggered something in me. I think usually when someone goes into what's most personal, we find out it's the most universal. And the things that we typically avoid talking about, like it's a plague, is actually what connects us the most. And it was basically about these emotions that we typically avoid, such as the ones she mentioned, or even anger. And my um, advice to her to myself and to you, if you will, is to find a context or co-create a context or come on a Rob Ross retreat or someone else that's doing similar type of playing and working where you are not only encouraged but celebrated to release the sacred emotions that are typically deemed evil by the people in control of our society that may not be evil themselves, but maybe they're experiencing evil. It's really easy to uh, experience happiness, laughter, and all those appropriate, socially appropriate or um, emotions because we actually express them. Um, can you imagine how, like laughing is so accepted, but imagine if we were, it was wrong for us to laugh, or if we were made fun of for laughing. Now, what's the flip side of that? It's crying. That um, for a man, such as myself, it's been, especially coming from Georgia, it's kind of driven into, you can't cry, you're a baby if you cry. Oh, whoa, 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 but the, <laughs> what was that, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> but the healthiest woman I know, as, which is actually my grandma, she's 98 years young now and seems like she's healthier now than she was five to ten years ago, is that she just wears her emotions on her sleeve. Whatever comes up, she lets come out. Because, um, and she is one of the biggest crybabies I've ever met. <laughs> and, this is, and I mean that in a very complimentary fashion. She gets real angry easily. She gets real happy easily. Her emotions, they come, they go. She doesn't have this, she's lost her mind and come to her senses, or she's lost her mind to find her heart. And I think that is so healthy, because I think what happens with, uh, what Arissa was saying in the video is that I am jealous, and I am selfish, and I was trying to offer her the flip side of that, that maybe you're not those things. I think you're much more than that. I think you're a beautiful young woman with so much potential that is potentially experiencing jealousy and experiencing anger. And some people experience that, but that doesn't mean that's who you are. What I would suggest is to express those and by revealing what you typically conceal that you're, by revealing it, you're releasing it. And that instead of saying I'm jealous or I'm angry, you can say I experience jealousy and by revealing it, I'm releasing it. Or I've, uh, I am an expert in jealousy or I'm an expert in anger and I've found a way where I can release it and be and use it instead of being used by it and reveal the capacity or inspire the capacity in others to do the same. And that is, I think, super powerful and transformational when they, you can uh, take control of your emotions. And it's not that those emotions are inherently bad in themselves, it's more how we react to them. It's more how someone reacts to jealousy, but if someone such as my brother or if someone such as myself, let's don't put this on someone else, is experiencing jealousy and I can explain to someone like, hey man, like I, I don't know what it is about me, but when all those people were looking at you and laughing at you, I got real jealous and I, 
in that moment I was not present, I was caught in my head and I just wanted to create a space where I could explain that to you and free myself from that. And then you won't believe sometimes the reactions you get that, from that. Sometimes, first of all, that person will probably be very flattered. Second of all, they'll be able to empathize that on a much deeper level than the role that you're putting on, acting like, because I think we have a sixth sense of empathy when, if I was just going to sit there and never talk about it, he'd probably sense like, something's wrong with Daniel today, I wonder what it is. Must never talk about it, we'll never connect, or I can come up to him and tell him what's going on. So I wanted to make this video pretty quick. Uh, basically, the thesis of it being finding a space or co-creating a space where you can let what comes up to come out, to reveal something we typically conceal, to release yourself of that. And just because the people that are in control taught you or told you that anger, jealousy, selfishness are emotions that shouldn't be experienced, don't believe it. Find a place where you can express those in a healthy manner, such as the Warrior Weekend coming up or one of our future retreats. Check it out on the website. And I guarantee that you will find, you will tap into a new level of aliveness and liberation that you had not experienced yet before. And just for a little fear mongering that sometimes I think if we have a lot of jealousy or a lot of selfishness that we're always putting it down, that that can actually manifest into a physic, physical ailment. And you wouldn't believe what some good screaming or some good anger or good, some good jealousy release will do for you. It's almost like a, an emotional enema. And I hope that helped you, Arissa. I hope that helps me. I know it helped me. And I hope that helps some other people out there. If it does, if it does, if you see that, dud, I ain't even gonna re, I ain't gonna reshoot that for this. Cut me off. Just like the video and comment below if you got something out of it. Thank you, peace. That is my confession. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. And thanks for hearing me out. Have a great day.